Hi all and welcome to this video financial modelling blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at modelling arrangement fee circularities. Um, so this, this will often happen in a project finance model where we have an arrangement fee which is circular um, and we need to break that circularity. Okay. Now before we delve into this video tutorial, please go to www videofinancialmodeling.com slash blog and read about why arrangement fees are circularity. We'll touch on it in this video training. Uh, however, you'll get a, a more in-depth uh, reason and analysis of, of why these arrangement fees are circularity or, or are circular uh, by looking through the blog tutorial. Okay, so we're going to do this by way of an example. So it says based on the construction cost below and assuming no interest, 100% uh, debt and a 2% arrangement fee. And that arrangement fee is spelt wrong. Let's just go put an E there. On the debt, model the arrangement fee so that there are no circularities. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, these are the construction phase costs. So I've just added a line in there phase costs okay and we're going to have in this simple example we're just going to have construction costs and arrangement fees okay and total construction phase costs so all we're doing here is we're building up Alt equals to sum up the above and we'll just copy it all the way across so shift arrow across and then control R and that'll be it and we're just building up the construction phase funding requirement or costs right so this is going to need to be funded by a hundred percent debt facility in this case usually it would be funded by debt and equity we're just simplifying it here. So debt, uh, we're going to have the opening balance and we're going to do a corkscrew account as usual, closing balance. I'm just going to put some lines in here. You don't need to format it if you're following along in this training course or tutorial. And we're just going to go equals that Alt equals to sum up that. So remember with the corkscrew accounts and look back at our previous blogs on corkscrew accounts because you use them so much. Um, we're just going to link up the opening balance of this period with the closing balance of the previous period. We're going to copy those across. So hold on to your shift key, go up and then arrow right and then control R to copy them across. Okay, we're just going to close one of those lines and we're going to just go draw down. Alright, I'm going to add a new line in here. So shift space bar, control shift plus, and then I'm going to put in arrangement fee. Let's put that wrong again. And I'm going to put in 2% here. So percentage and blue for an input. And the drawdown is simply going to be here. Okay, so nothing circular at the moment. So shift arrow across and then control R. And then we've got our drawdowns for our debt facility. And nothing circular here. We've got hard coded numbers and then we're calculating the total off a hard coded number. And then the drawdown is here based on that hard coded number. So easy. Now, we need to put an arrangement fee in here. Now, this is not best practice modeling, but we're going to do it just for this example. Usually, you'd have a financial close indicator, etc., etc., and you'd have a you, you'd have a formula that is consistent across the row. But this is just an example, so we're just going to cheat a bit here. We're going to go equal sum, and we're going to sum of that. So that's the total balance and our arrangement fee 
is going to usually that would be on a different page so we add a few lines in so shift spacebar control shift plus a few times and then we would go debt amount calculated on our assumptions page and we're going to go equals that amount okay so our arrangement fee is going to be simply that times that okay and what you'll find is a circular reference will pop up okay so let's explain that circularity I'll just color that in black because it's a calculation it's coming up from here so what we're saying is we're going to draw down this amount okay and that drawdown is based on the amount of the arrangement fee which is calculated off this um, total drawdown amount so you can see that these two calculate this which calculates that and calculates this and it goes around in a circle okay so as the arrangement fee increases so too does this drawdown so what we need to do is break that circularity so what we typically do is we go debt amount and hard coded so we're going to break that circularity and we're going to put in a debt amount check mm -hmm. so equals that minus that is the debt amount check and you'll see how this works in a second now we're going to copy and paste this amount in so control C and alt E S V for values you can go alt H V and I think it's V for values as well in in the new Excel okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this circularity and how are we gonna do that we're gonna go and change this to the hard-coded amount okay so that's changed now you'll notice that these two are now not lined up and we need to realign them so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and we're going to paste um, so we'll we'll do alt h v v again and we'll do f4 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 and eventually this is going to converge and you can see that's pretty close at the moment those two values are exactly the same and we've broken the circularity so each time you change this model now you're going to have to go and resolve this to to make sure that this debt amount is equal to zero and the, the model so solves correctly okay so that's how you break a debt circularity or a debt arrangement fee circularity it's quite simple um, and it's one of the most basic circularities that you'll find in project finance modeling we hope you've enjoyed this training course or this tutorial if you haven't already done so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter and also check out our project financing courses which are going to give you a number of tips that are going to advance your Excel modeling skills a thousand fold thanks for tuning in